your girl April and today's video is of course another hair review. This is by Ally Express so I do have a DHL bag here and this is going to be the first time for me working with this company which is Charms Hair. Now before I even begin I did look at the hair. The hair is just beautiful. Straight out the bag that they pack it in the hair is actually really really pretty. So the first thing I want to show you guys is the free Flexi Rod Roller Set that was sent along with the purchase of the hair. Of course I didn't purchase it but it is a gift that you will receive with the purchase of your hair and it does say thank you and especially for you on the bag. Inside your package you'll see your invoice and coupon um, just to let you know how you can save money, get some free hair or what have you and things like that. Let's get into the specs of this hair. Now I haven't done Malaysian body wave in quite a while. It's normally just like Brazilian, Brazilian this, Brazilian that, Brazilian this, Brazilian that. Time around this is the Malaysian body wave and I do have four bundles. A 24, two 24's, a 22, a 20 and a 16 inch closure. Now, the first thing that I noticed, I do like their packaging, so they don't have the loud bags. All their bags are in plastic like this, as well as they do put their name into your package. That's like really important for me, especially because I'm doing reviews. I need to know whose hair is what, but also it's important if you're purchasing it too, because you like to know where you purchase the hair from, in case you want to repurchase it, you can always save like the little piece of tag or what have you. So this is the closure and like I said it's a body wave and this is a 16 inch closure. And of course you guys already know it is one of my faves which is the guarded edges. Now I'm going to just call them guarded because they are really guarded edges so they're the reinforced seams. But let me tell you it is a light Swiss lace closure which I have never seen them this light but I bet you this is like really going to work for me. Um, really going to work. The closure is really sturdy. As far as the knots, I like to look through them, like put them up to the light. And if I could see through them, then that tells me like there is a no bad knot. I see like a couple that could be tweezed, but nothing major like that. It's definitely not where I would part it. But there's only like a very few that need to be tweezed. Now as for the hair, the first thing that I do look at also is the ends because you can get a lot of hair where it's really full on the top and then once it gets to the ends, it's really thin and just sparingly, just very thin. And I don't like when it's super thin like that because you don't have a lot of volume at the bottom. And I like to have volume throughout my entire unit, so I do look for that when it comes to the ends. On to these bundles, there are four, like I stated, two 24s, a 22, and a 20. Um... I like long hair. I just love, love, love long hair. On your bags, you'll notice that it does say right here what type of hair origin it is. It doesn't give the actual origin like Malaysian or Peruvian or Brazilian, but it does state the type of style, meaning body wave and the inches. So as for the bundles, they are like the average thickness, average length. Like I said, this is 24 inches, so it's not going to be as thick as a 20 inch because the longer the length, the, the shorter the weft. So that is the reason why I needed four bundles. This is a double wefted track. The tracks are not really thick at the top here, meaning when you sew it, you know how you get some tracks where they're super thick because the wefts are so thick? This one, these seem pretty thin to me. Um, it does look like it is enough hair, so it is like 100 grams per bundle but as for the ends again here they go still healthy um not as thin at the bottom as you would see most i could probably want it a little bit thicker at the bottom because it is not as thick as i would prefer it but the hair texture is really pretty um soft no tampering looks like it's in its natural state the bearding on it the little small hairs are actually really intact so they're laying flat so they're not a bother either as well so as you guys know this is going to be a full closure unit but yeah so this is charm hair and this is an ally store vendor so you can check them out and you know the drill let's continue on with the rest of the vid Okay, you guys, so I am done with this unit, 24 inches, 24, 22, 20, and I think it was a 16 inch closure, body wave, Brazilian body wave. So it is super long, um, really long. The only thing I did was layer the front of it just a little bit, just to frame my face, and I trimmed a tiny bit off the ends. Um, what I actually ended up having to do with this actual unit is I had to get my tweezers out and tweeze some of the hairs for the part because 
there were a lot of knots that I noticed once I parted it and I really wanted to make it a, just a flawless so just easy to put on to go with so the lace is rather lighter than normal so that has a lot to do um, play a big part in my actual concealer here normally my lace is a little bit darker like a medium brown this is like a really 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 light 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 brown but when I noticed when I was creating the unit it kind of tangled to me a lot as I was making the unit when I washed it and then I'm um, I did shed some and as I was basically flat ironing it and combing through it, it did shed some. I did notice some hairs on my floor. The only thing that I didn't do this time around was I didn't put any combs in it because actually I ran out of combs and I had to order some and then they came in the mail today. So yeah, got the combs and I'll add those later. Some people don't like to wear combs but I just do because it just makes me feel a lot more secure. I know my wig is not going to slip back and it just stays in place. But I did add some concealer and as long as that I did use my contour palette by um, LA Colors um, which is a powder formula just to put it on top of the concealer because like I said the closure is really really light. So for the most part the only downfall that I noticed was that it tangled um, a lot when I was creating the unit. I didn't wash it before I created it. I actually wash it afterwards. Um, after I make them and that's just how I do all my wigs. I'll so watch. let's get this started and let's see how it looks. She is very long and sleek. This is actually a body wave, but I wanted to flat iron her and wear her straight just because I wanted to actually see how the hair would just really take to like really hot heat because it was tangling so much. So I wanted really to see how it came out. Did it just flat iron easily? Because a lot of straight hair or just hair that I've tried in general, it just seems to like melt when it goes through the flat iron. When I say melt, I don't mean like literally melt, but it just passes through so easily in the actual flat iron. So this one did, I did have to, like I said, trim the ends a little bit. I just trimmed a little bit because they seem just a little dry at the ends to me. Um, but when I washed it, it is a body wave. It really didn't have any type of body wave to it at all. Normally what I like to see when it comes to a body wave is I like to see some type of bounce or body wave to it. It doesn't have to be wavy like wavy hair, but I want to see some type of a curl pattern. This really didn't have any curl pattern. It came back straight. It wasn't bone straight like this, but it was actually straight. So it really reminded me of a straight unit. The downfall was that there was no kind of curl pattern. There was no body wave pattern in it, but the hair is really soft, like buttery soft. I didn't do anything to it, meaning I didn't put any type of um, styling product I just put um, heat to it and it came out really soft like this and the only time like I said it tangled was when I was actually creating the unit and I'm not really sure if it had to do it because it was so long I've never really experienced that when creating a unit unless the hair was not that great but for the most part the hair is buttery soft really affordable super long the ends just needed a little trimming but I like the ends because they're really full so they're not thin like you notice anytime you get hair and it's really long it gets really thin at the ends and it's just like wow I'm gonna have to cut it off because it's super thin well with this one it's not like that it's really actually healthy the hair is actually really healthy and all for the most part you can check out ally express they have some really good hair a lot of vendors do have some really really good hair you just have to watch the reviews listen to the reviews read the reviews from actual customers and look on youtube as well and as far as that 
you know you know what to do make sure you rate comment subscribe i'll post all their information for you guys below and as always if you want a unit made or you want a unit that's already created like my video units are in stock units you can always check my website out at goingwiththewindwigs.webly.com and i'll post that information for you guys as well so on that note stay diva and devolicious and i'll be back soon on my next video